here we are at the ABA in Auckland, New Zealand at the Industry Rumble 6. It's the 16th of November 2018 and this is proudly brought to you by Glossier Boxing promoter Bruce Glossier. Joined with you tonight at Glad Rap Channel, Isaac Savage and the man himself, Benji Watt. Welcome tonight, Benji. Thank you. How's it going? So far, so good. We've been in for a... Well, we've actually been very treated tonight in terms of all three fights so far. We're up for fourth now, and Crisanto Minoza out of the blue versus Sean Holt in the red. Now, Sean is spelt as Cian, as... <laughs> I, like, I like how Sean is always spelt with multiple names. There's Sean, Sean, and Cian. <laughs> but this is the spelling of Cian. Wow, look at that headgear. You uh, took the words out of my mouth with that one. That headgear is very... Swollen. Protrusive <laughs> and uh, protective. Sorry, but look at that headgear. I mean, yes, safety is important. I, I agree with that, but it is the most swollen headgear I've ever seen. Thick, padded. Hey, look, um, safety first tonight, Benji, yeah. and that's certainly going to help him uh, for avoid any cuts or, you know, if he does fall down and uh, injure that skull, um, it, you know, it's certainly well padded and he's well protected. And look, both these guys coming out now, brawling the blue guy. What the hell? Uh, oh, there we go. Santo coming out aggressive, that but first, took one on the chin. That first 20 seconds, everyone was fro throwing but missing, but now we're finally actually getting some punches landed. Sean Holt there in the red headgear, red gloves. Both these boys, different pace from the last fights. Benji, a bit more composed, slightly feeling each other out, opposed to the third fight that was just an all-out brawl. It's more that... I don't know, maybe they don't have the best of, what's the word I'm looking for, best connection rate. I don't know. That's nice tight guard there from Santo. There we go. Now they actually, a lot of hugging, you know, a lot of pushing and hugging. Santo is actually having some trouble with his headgear, as you can see, fiddling with his headgear. Yeah, I could see that moving around, and yeah, he's having to adjust it now and then when it does get moved to the side. Sean Holt there, look, nice parry, coming forward. Tangling up again. Hopefully the ref can get in there and uh, break them up or otherwise let them do it themselves. This is a one and a half minute round as we just heard the 10 seconds. And there you go, Crisato's. Body shot just glancing over the rib cage there. Coming forward again too. And that's a it. Nice finish from Sean Holt there, Benji. Yeah, nice finish. I think Crisato actually led a little bit in my opinion. But yeah, that was... I still can't get over the thickness of that headgear. I'm sorry. It's certainly um, a very well-protected form of headgear there, and the first time I've seen something like that. Well, Crisato, um, he, uh, as, we, as he said before, he had a little bit of trouble with his headgear, but I'd say headgear should be, like, fitted to you, to you, not to be shared around. Of course, like, these are all new rules and whatnot, so not a lot of people are prepared to buy their own headgear at the moment. But well, that's something to actually really invest in. Do you own a headgear? Wait. Isaac? Say again, sorry. Do you own any headgear? No, I don't. And uh, I would struggle to uh, go into an amateur fight with that. But if rules are rules. And now we can see Sean Holt there holding that guard high, coming forward very aggressively. And managed to land that left hook just before, so he did quite well. He's on the back foot, but he's landing punches. Good to see Sean Holt jabbing, then moving to the left. Beautiful sign there of um, you know, boxing. given his level of boxing, you know, jabbing away, moving to the left. He is outboxing his opponent right now, and that's the thing. And enough, a uh, little bit of a pull there. Left, right, left, right. Santo not getting too phased, though, from the, the work rate here of Sean Holt. Probably not the heaviest of punches, but he's landing, and that's the... That's the main thing that's happening here. I'm liking what I see, though, from both fighters at this stage, Benji. Both looking... Whoa! Big looping right hook there. That just... <laughs> and it was quite, I think Chris Lanto actually landed an uppercut when uh, Sean went down. So, 
he's showing some like initiative in actually looking where he, his opponent is going. This is an absolute tick for tack war at the moment, Benji. I'm liking what I see from both of these guys, both coming forward. And Sean's not afraid to actually step forward, and that's 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 showing some bravery. Oh, Big yeah. left that landed there on the chin there of Fasanto from Sean Holt. I was just about to say that there's a little bit too much wild shots happening, and like Fasanto just kind of like punch right in the middle. But then uh, like Fasanto just la got landed by a heavy shot. So I don't know. Don't, think, don't forget both these guys or a lot of fighters up tonight are, are jumping in for the first time, and you know you could be training for 12, 14, 16 weeks. But once you jump in that ring, sometimes nerves can take over, and we're certainly seeing a little bit of that tonight. But both these guys have got good form. The director wants to just to point out how attractive that ring girl was tonight. So, <laughs> how, what do you think, Isaac? I um, hadn't noticed. I was just looking at that headgear. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight is going great. You should have another beer. You should like drink beer more often. Every time we have a commentating night. Uh, it's a hot night and we've got to got to keep hydrated. Here we are, round number three. As they say, the money round. And Sean's coming forward, but received some. Now he's giving some back. Big shots there from Sean. He's just coming forward. Obviously he's had a talking to from the corner. And he's come out all guns blazing, but... Crisanto coming forward, giving him a bit back of his own, giving him a taste of his own medicine, Benji. You know, the first round, they we saw a lot of dancing. Now we're actually seeing a lot of landing. And Sean now looking a bit tired after that 20-punch combo, but he comes back again just as we thought he was out of energy. He's coming forward, left, right, uppercuts. Crisanto's getting a little bit of trouble. He just keeps on like running away now. He's being backed up into the corner. Landed some shots from Sean. It almost looked like Crisanto actually um, like powered up some of those punches just before. Oh, double hit. Crisanto took, well, took a hit there from Sean Holt. Sean Holt ducking out of the way and coming forward. I wonder if the headgear is actually heavy. What do you think? <laughs> oh. oh, I'm sure it wouldn't be too, too, way too much, but once it starts filling up the sweat. But I'm sure that's the last of their worries right now as they're in... Halfway through the third round. Oh, you can see from here, Crisanto's headgear. You could probably see his little bit of vision impairment, but he's actually doing not too badly. He's probably gotten used to it by the last round, but Sean is on top of him Sean right now. Holt finishing strong, coming forward. And that's the end of round three. I didn't hear the last 10 second paper, did you? No, that was a beautiful finish from both fighters. Once again, one of those rounds where it just flies by. Did we hear the 10 second clap? But we didn't hear up here. It could have gone off, but it was so exciting. The bell was gone before we knew it, and now we go to the judges' decision. I can't call this one myself, Benji. I, I've lost count for after the second round because, like, you just don't know how uh, the judges see it. Maybe it was like one of those quiet uh, 10 second clap. Those quiet 10 second clappers, you know? But the blue corner seems quite happy. Look at that beard underneath. Maybe that was what was swallowing up the headgear. It was that beard. Looks like a totally different person once that uh, headgear <laughs> yeah, ex comes off. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Ooh. There you have it. The man with the beard brings it home. And a split decision bench. You go one judge fought, the other guy won, and two were in favour of short split. Decisions are always a hard one to swallow. Well, yeah, it must have been that uh, thick headgear. It, it, it must be. It led the way. And the uh, ring girls dancing along with the boxes, you know, having fun there. It's always good to see everyone get into the spirit of things. They're certainly getting amongst it tonight. And what a fight from both guys. They should both be proud of themselves after a solid effort for the fourth round or fourth fight tonight.